What's going on, Jerome's? Undisclosed location, influencers in the wild. Actually, you'd be surprised how many people have selfie sticks out here. Uh, but something you shouldn't be surprised about is the emergence of second year linebacker Brian Asamoah. That's right, a former third round pick last year out of Oklahoma, Boomer. And he's penciled in as a starter this year. Didn't really get the time of day as a rookie, but when he was on the field, three, three uh, was the place to be. And he certainly made an impact. And uh, of all the players, uh, that you're really excited to see in the Brian Flores scheme. You look at Daniil, you look at Harrison Smith, you look at Josh Patelis, but Asimov has to be up there, man. Yeah, the fact that Brian Flores loves him, some pass rushing linebackers, uh, even at off ball, and the fact that Asimov, even though he wasn't really a pass rusher at Oklahoma, he has the traits, he has the tenacity, he has the speed, he has the quickness, and the fact that Flores is going to unleash uh, him and Ivan Pace Jr. and even Jordan Hicks. I'm really excited, man. Yeah. And you're, you're seeing it in practice where the Vikings offense was a top 10 unit last year, you know, top seven, top eight. I, I think that they will send to be a top five, but they've had some problems at, at times just trying to fend off that hellacious pass rush that is always in your face. The receivers are getting pressed and having the routes disturbed at the line. <coughs> is that you running? Mm. Uh, and you're seeing it over and over again, and Brian Flores is just completely getting after it. And Asamoah, in terms of like most improved Vikings or guys that have most approved, uh, I think that Asamoah has a beautiful opportunity to step in, be the leader on that defense, and he is the true modern off-ball linebacker. I mean, I mean, 30 years ago, he would have been a safety. But the fact that he is a little bit undersized, but he's got that quickness, he's got range. He can cover running backs out of the backfield. He can uh, belly up to tight ends. Hell, he can even cover uh, some receivers coming out of the slot. But what he does have is a great nose for the football. Uh, he's great at scraping, great and getting uh, all up in there. And you know, with, uh, with Kyrus Tonga in front of him and Ivan Pace Jr. long term, uh, they're going to be kept clean and be able to uh, make those plays. And I think the pass rush is just going to be a huge extra bonus, man. Uh, because you look at what he did in practice on Monday, had a number of sacks in 11 on 11s, and I think we're just scratching the surface of what's going to be possible uh, on this Vikings defense. And, you know, Brian Flores, probably going to be a one and done. He deserves to be a head coach again. But his impact is going to be felt for many years to come. Where, I mean, last year in the Donna Shell defense, the frustrating thing is that they wouldn't blitz, is that they wouldn't press uh, up on the receivers, and then they wouldn't uh, just uh, unleash that fifth or sixth or seventh rusher. And just sitting back, not getting home with four, did not not sending some more, and it was rough. Brian Flores ain't going down like that, man. Right? Where the Vikings defense this year, yeah, they may give up yards, they may give up points, they may give up big plays, but they're also going to generate a big play or two. Just think of how a game can change if an opportunistic sack comes up. Or Brian Asamoah, yeah, coming in uh, on a linebacker blitz, a little strip sack action, baby. Baby, baby, baby. But I'm fired up about the defense, and I'm really fired up about what Brian Asamoah is going to do uh, out there because I think that he's the perfect modern-day NFL linebacker in the perfect modern-day NFL defense. And it's a thing of beauty, man. It really is. But anyways, that's it. Skull, no production value.